Ah, why do you want to come and study in Germany? It's not nice. It's difficult. People are difficult. It's difficult to make friends. It's difficult to... Hello guys. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. It has been a while. Um, so I am Elena Visas. For those of you who are new here, um, I live in Germany as a student and uh, I do videos about moving to Germany, life in Germany and all of that good stuff. Stuff. so um yeah let's get right in the video today we'll be talking about five mistakes you shouldn't make when applying to a school here in germany so let's just get right into it It is really common for us to make certain mistakes that would hinder or reduce our chances for getting admission in a, a university in Germany or even in getting the visa. So I just wanted to highlight some of these common mistakes that we make as students um, when applying to universities abroad even in general and uh, to avoid these mistakes so you can increase your your chances so one of the common mistakes that we make is not planning in advance it's important to plan in advance whether you are going to be applying for a bachelor's or a master's or a phd it's important to plan in advance it's good to know okay um do i plan to study abroad that's the first question if you want to study abroad yeah you should already start looking at potential programs in the country you plan on studying in this case germany um start looking at potential programs and start finding out about the culture about um, life as an international student so make your research um, check check to make sure you have maybe all the documents that will be asked for or the kinds of documents that are being asked for so that you have time enough to um, plan and prepare to get these documents in case some of them are complicated to get you know so you plan um you check the deadlines if you want to come in the summer semester or you want to come in the winter semester you check the deadlines and all of that so plan in advance so while you are still writing your a levels or your university entrance um, qualification exams and all of that you should just check in advance to make sure you have everything you know um, watch videos like this so if you're already watching this video you are doing a good job so keep doing that so watch videos like this there are a lot of videos online a lot of things on resources online um, articles online you can read to find out more and to get more information about the I am studying in Germany so plan in advance second mistake that many people make and i think i did this mistake my first time applying is applying to just one or just two few um, schools it's important to apply to many universities um when i was applying to come to germany for my first time to study um to do a master's i applied to just three universities three might someone else might look at it like but that's enough that's many enough but the truth is if you are trying to maximize your chance as much as possible apply to as many as possible <laughs> apply to as many universities as possible so that you can maximize that chance of getting the admission right so don't make the mistake to apply to one because if you apply to one and you don't get in you've wasted like i don't know six months of your life so apply to one two three four five six universities if, if possible possible sorry and apply to many more programs like you can even apply to two programs in a, the same university right so just um, maximize your chances by increasing the number of universities you apply for the the truth is that the, the type of documents needed at the end of the day uh, are still the same right so you would just use the same documents to apply to multiple universities the third mistake that many of us make is that we sit around waiting for the results the the thing like 
at the embassy sometimes right they ask you like what have you been doing for the past six months or for the past one year if it takes maybe one year for you to get a, admission into the university or something of that sort so they ask those type of questions it's important that you don't sit and you're just waiting right do something have a backup plan that's the, the, the lesson here have a backup plan what is your backup plan if I'm applying to universities for the winter semester um, in Germany for example am I also applying or looking considering other options in in my home country so it's important to consider other options as, as those you could also consider other options in other countries like except if it's really your long life dream to to live and, and to study in germany yeah but you should always have a backup plan do not just sit around and uh, and and wait wait for the results right you don't know what the results will be you might be very qualified but you might still not get in so do not sit around waiting for the results have other options have backup plans both at home and in other countries abroad right so yeah it's important to do that not only would you not waste your time if in case you don't get taken you'll be able to um you yeah you have something else to do and you'll be able to defend yourself in case um you get admission and you go to the the embassy and the embassy asks what have you been doing since after graduating high school or or after finishing your bachelor's even if it even means getting like a part-time job I, I i don't know you some i know some people take these gap years where they just like relax and all of that but i don't think a gap year except if you're doing something really important to humanity <laughs> like some humanitarian work or volunteering i don't think a gap year will be um something that you should tell the embassy yeah i took a gap year i just wanted to chill and relax but yeah so it's important to have a backup plan that's just the, the 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 long and short of this whole thing the fourth mistake especially when coming to germany where especially when applying to to universities in germany that students make is that they think that they will not need the language like i can't keep insisting enough if you are if you keep watching my videos or if you are a, 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 a follower of this channel you know i keep insisting on the language the language is so important some qualifications are useless if you don't have the language so some students make the mistake to think oh i don't need the language because i can study in english and all of that yes you can study in english but you still need the language and with the language what makes it even better is that um, you're able to increase your chances for the universities you can apply for because there are obviously many more programs up, um, offered in german so if you learn the language even if you think you can learn studying english you increase your chances so maybe if you don't even have like really good grades but then if you know the language you can apply to many um german taught programs so learning the language or making the mistake to think that oh you don't need the language in Germany is a big mistake don't do that mistake you should um study the language whether your program is going to be in english whether your program is going to be in german study the language you will need it if you don't need it in school you will need it in your daily life so learn the language guys oh the fifth mistake that many of us make as students when applying to German universities is that we use um, study agents or study consultants or or agencies as we say back home right um, the things we that can be helpful right it can be helpful to to have somebody that follows up the, the whole process for you and all of that but at the end of the day the truth is that it's going to be better when you are the one who follows up the program the, the whole procedure it's um, challenging and it's um, tedious and maybe you're too busy to do it and all of that but then if you can try as much as possible to avoid um, study agencies and avoid listening to what people say right take like you take um, people's opinions but always know how to filter these opinions because there will be people telling you yeah why do you want to come and study in germany it's not nice it's difficult people are difficult it's difficult to make friends it's difficult to avoid as much as possible to use study um um these agencies that 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 promise you a mission within six months and a visa and a sweet life you know those kind of things so try as much as possible to avoid this
so guys with that i have come to the end of another video um it has been so long i have missed all of you guys i hope you missed me too please if this is your first time here please don't forget to like subscribe comment that helps me a lot let's keep growing the channel and if you're a returning subscriber as usual i love you i love you guys thank you so much for for being here and for um watching so see you guys in my next video bye